The killing of Corporal Nathan Cirillo prompted strong feelings and sharp questions today throughout this country's military community. Joanna Remiliotis has that part of our story tonight. Disbelief has given way to all this. Flags, messages, so many visits. A very good devoted father. He was a, a very good man, a very good friend, and I'm very, very saddened by his loss. This is terrible, and I hope that all of this terrorism and everything comes to an end. Shot down in cold blood, there is no reconciling to that. A makeshift shrine outside Corporal Nathan Cirillo's home regiment is a ritual of horrified grief. At City Hall, a book of condolences for a young man remembered by his superiors as bursting with pride to serve, and a devoted single father to a five-year-old boy. Under the fence of the family home, Cirillo's dogs, also waiting for him to come back. I felt numb, I felt shock, disappointment, and every possible emotion that I could feel. At CFB Shiloh, soldiers pause by flags at half-mast. It's a base like all others ordered to step up security. At the 17th Wing Base in Winnipeg, delays as every idea was checked under the watchful eye of armed guards. Back to business as usual, I guess. Still, still some shock and disbelief over what happened, obviously. Two deadly attacks on soldiers within 48 hours. The security of troops on home soil is a new urgent concern. The safety and security of our members, our families, and our civilian partners is our priority. Canada's top soldier directed all rank and file to avoid wearing uniforms in public unless commuting to work, and says the military is working closely with CSIS and the RCMP. As we assess this new type of threat, are there steps that we haven't considered yet? And going forward, I think um, we do rely in a large way on uh, partners in the security uh, world. A new grim reality dotted with spontaneous displays of solidarity. Retired soldiers turned up to guard Edmonton Cenotaph. You do have to stand up because freedom isn't free. A lot of people have said, you know, things like this could never happen here. Well, it's time to wake up and smell the gunpowder. And at a school north of Toronto, Remembrance poppies were laid out early. It was kind of sickening, disappointing that we're looking at homegrown terrorism and homegrown issues that hopefully we can stop. Fears of homegrown terrorism are top of mind, Peter. Already the military and police are reviewing security measures for Remembrance Day ceremonies. All right, Joanna, thank you. Joanna Remiliotis in Toronto.